Welcome to Boys of Yoga. My name's Charlie Kelly. We've got McGee and the Hustler, and we're going to do a vigorous warm up to get you in the mood. Start in a cross legged position. We we'll need to raise the crown of the head up towards the sky, let the shoulders drop away from the ears. And then begin to engage Mula Bandha, squeezing the solar plexus back towards the spine, lifting it up in towards the ribcage, a hollowing out through the lower body keeping the spine long, the crown high, keeping the locks engaged, that real solidness through the lower body so we can let the prana move up the spine through the chakras. And then begin to integrate the ujjayi breath, the loud, auditable, oceanic sounding breath, a victorious breath, a rasping, a slight contraction through the back of the throat that stimulates and warms the body keeping these at the forefront of our mind as we work through this vinyasa, keeping them locked, keeping them solid. Whenever our mind wanders, coming back to the breath, back to the bandhas. Let us begin. Let's roll over our knees, coming into a downward facing dog. Hands as wide as the shoulders, feet as wide as the hips, rolling the shoulders away from the ears pushing down into the hands as the hips lift up a little higher and then sending the heels further down towards the ground as we open up through the back of the knee slightly. Remembering at all times keeping the bandhas engaged, the breath strong, inhaling yourself to a plank position, reaching the crown of the head forwards, Bring the heels back into space, reaching forwards with the crown of the head, an elongation through the spine. And holding, sucking in the rib cage, sucking in the lower belly, and then pushing back to a downward facing dog. Then inhaling yourself to a plank position again. Exhale, dropping the knees, the chest, the chin to the earth. Inhaling low cobra, lowering the hips, rolling the shoulders. Exhaling the seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Inhaling to a plank position. Exhale, dropping the knees, the chest, the chin to the earth. Inhaling low cobra. Exhaling the seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Inhaling plank. Exhaling knees, chest, chin to the earth. Inhaling low cobra bhujangasana, exhaling the seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Inhaling to a plank again, keeping that length through the whole spine, back through the heels forwards with the crown of the head. Bring the right knee towards the right elbow, to the nose, to the left elbow, dropping it almost down towards the wrist lifting it up to the elbow and then back into a downward facing dog. Inhaling plank, then bring the left knee to the left elbow, to the nose, to the right elbow, lowering it down almost to the ground, lifting it back up, stepping back downward facing dog. Inhaling to a plank, Moving the right hand to the center of the mat, rolling onto the outside of the right foot. Vashistasana, side plank, lifting that left arm up. Keeping the gaze up, reaching that left hand high to the sky. Exhaling, bringing it down, rolling onto the other side. Side plank, hips high, gaze high. Finding an arch, an arcing through the body as the hips lift a little higher. Exhaling, bring the right hand down, lowering the knees, the chest, the chin to the earth. Inhaling Cobra Bhujangasana, exhaling the seat to the heels, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling to a plank position. Exhaling knees, chest, chin. Inhaling Cobra. Exhaling the seat to the heels, downward facing dog. Walking the feet up towards the hands, hip distance apart. And then really releasing, letting go of the the head and the shoulders, taking opposite elbows, letting the weight elongate the spine, finding that space, keeping the hips nice and steady, moving the torso towards the right leg and the left leg. 
just rocking it out and as you do so loosening the spine finding more length and more space in between each vertebrae and then coming back to center releasing the arms bending into the knees and very very slowly rolling yourself up to stand picturing vertebrae on disc vertebrae on disc super slow getting into the spine letting the shoulders and the head be the last thing to arrive at the top of the body bringing the toes to touch the palms to touch at the heart center checking in with the breath and the bandhas again setting an intention for the practice making this a selfless beautiful loving practice offering it up to something or someone else, someone who could do with an extra thought, something you know could do with an extra bit of attention, not making it about you, not having any judgment whether you're doing it right or wrong, each pose we offer up almost as a prayer, selfless, loving and devotional, inhaling, reaching the prayer high, gazing all the way up at the thumbs, Exhaling, folding forwards, grounding down through the palms. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, step the right leg back, left leg back, downward facing dog. Inhaling yourself to a plank position, shoulders over the wrists. Exhaling, chaturanga, lowering down halfway. Inhaling, upward facing dog, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping the right foot forwards. Exhale, stepping the left knee to the ground. Inhaling, hooking thumbs, reaching up and arching back. Exhaling, placing the palms down, stepping forwards, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhaling, reaching the prayer high to the sky. Exhaling, folding forwards, grounding the palms again. Inhaling, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step the left leg back. Right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhaling to a plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, downward facing dog, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left foot forwards. Exhale, right knee to the ground. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, place the palms down, right foot meets left, Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhaling, reaching the prayer high, gazing high. Exhaling, folding forwards, grounding the palms. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs, releasing the neck. Inhaling, reaching the prayer high. Exhaling, folding forwards, grounding the palms. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling, reaching high, gaze high. Exhale, Uttanasana, folding forwards. Inhaling, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling, prayer high, gaze high. Exhaling, hands to the heart. Tadasana. Inhaling Utkatasana, bending into the knees, chair pose, shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, folding forwards, palms down, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel down, warrior one, reaching the arms up. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, right heel down, warrior one. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. 
Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling Utkatasana, sinking low. In, exhale, Uttanasana, fold forwards. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, Warrior One, Virabhadrasana One. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog, shoulders back. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward, Virabhadrasana One, Warrior One, arms up. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling, Utkatasana. Exhaling, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior one. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left foot forward, warrior one. Virabhadrasana one, shoulders drop away. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling, Utkatasana, shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot forward, left heel down, Virabhadrasana one. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhaling Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs. Inhaling Utkatasana. Exhaling Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, left foot forward, Virabhadrasana one. Exhaling, Chaturanga. Inhaling, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhaling, Utkatasana and holding. Sinking a little lower down, lifting the arms a little higher. Little fingers turn in towards each other as the shoulders drop away from the ears. Slightly lengthen through the tailbone as you sink down a little lower. Bring the weight back into the heels. Exhaling Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling Urdha Mukha Svanasana. Exhaling, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot forward. Exhaling the left knee to the ground. Inhaling, hooking thumbs, reaching up, arching back. And breathing. Letting that left hip travel forwards, opening up through the front body. Reaching the arms up, finding more space from the left knee all the way through to the right hand. Breathing into that. And then bringing yourself up to center, bending the left knee, grabbing the left ankle with the left hand. And Giniasa variation. Maybe bring the right hand behind you, grabbing hold of the foot. Keeping the torso nice and square, rolling the shoulders back. Staying here if this is enough for you or going a little bit deeper, finding the foot inside the left elbow as you reach the right arm up, interlacing the hands. Wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. Finding that stretch, finding that breath, keeping the bandhas engaged, finding the meditation within the practice, knowing your limits. And releasing yourself back down, stepping back, downward facing dog. 
Inhaling left foot forwards. Exhaling the right knee to the ground. Inhale, hook thumbs, reach up, arch back. Exhale, sink further down into that right hip. Traveling that right hip forward, so left hip moves back, finding that length all the way through the front body. Keeping the breath, keeping the bandhas, finding the focus, coming back to the intention. In these postures, it's fantastic to open up through the heart and keep that person, that thing, that intention right in the center. As we find more space in the body, more space in the heart, more space in the mind to fully focus. Inhale, lift the torso, bending the right knee, finding the right ankle with the right hand. Coming into the variation you took on the other side. You may find you're different on each side, I certainly am, but coming into what feels good, what feels accessible, what allows you to maintain your focus. But trying to keep the heart open in these, really broadening through the collarbone keeping the gaze up, the head up, keeping the breath. Keeping the focus, keeping the intention strong and releasing yourself back down. Stepping back downward facing dog. And then coming into the breath, into the body, into the intention again. Rolling the shoulders away as we begin to slow down a little bit. Connecting with your breath, others around you. Maybe you're practicing in a group, that's fantastic. But we have people all around the world we can connect with on a level that we can only tune into when we selflessly serve others. Inhaling yourself to a plank position. Lowering the knees, the chest, and the chin to the earth. Inhaling Bhujangasana. Exhaling the seat to the heels. Taking a well-deserved child's pose. Extending the arms out in front of you, or bringing them down beside you, whatever feels comfortable. And in these moments, you can choose to just take a little break here as we round off the practice, or move on to something, onto another fantastic class here at Boys of Yoga. Thank you for practicing. Catch more of us at boysofyoga.com.